Welcome back everyone. Continuing with error handling in the new app router, in this video, we are going to focus on handling errors within nested routes. Currently, our error.tsx file is placed within the review ID folder. Our route hierarchy is somewhat nested with products being at the top, followed by product ID and then review ID. The nested nature of these components influences how our error.tsx file behaves. It is important to understand that headers bubble up to the closest parent error boundary. This implies that an error.tsx file will cater to errors for all its nested child segments. By positioning error.tsx files at different levels in the nested folders of a route, you can achieve a more granular level of error handling. Let's look at this closely. Back in VS Code, let's move the error.tsx file from the review ID folder to the products folder. Now, if we refresh the browser until we trigger an error, we see the same error message as before, error loading review. However, this time the entire products route is replaced by the UI from the error.tsx file. The error from page.tsx in the review ID folder bubbles up to the nearest error boundary, which is now defined in the error.tsx file in the products folder. On the other hand, if we move back the file into the review ID folder, and refresh the browser, the featured products section from the product ID layout remains intact and only the review component is replaced by the UI in error.tsx. A more granular level of error handling as you can see. This shows how error handling operates in nested routes. The placement of error.tsx file plays a crucial role in determining the scope of error handling allowing for more precise control over which parts of the UI are affected when errors occur. Deeper, the placement of error.tsx, more granular is error handling. All right, join me in the next video where we will explore how to handle errors within layouts. I'll see you in the next one.